Napa Valley and we have a full day of wine tasting ahead of us so we need a good foundation. We stop by the Black Bear Diner for a quick breakfast and then we're off to taste some wine at Darius. Darius is owned by Darius Kaledi. He was born in Shiraz, Iran and he came over in the late 70s to build this Persian castle. All these stones and 18 foot pillars were imported from Iran and the guy actually still lives here. Pretty cool place and they also make some amazing wines. So if you guys are planning a trip to Napa and need a place to go, definitely put this on your list. After tasting some wine, we took a tour of Dariush's personal wine cellar. One of the craziest collections I've seen of hard to find vintages and wines in all different sizes. And then next we got to try Darius 2, which is their high-end Cabernet. Each vintage is adorned with a different piece of Persian art, paying homage to his heritage. This makes the Darius II highly collectible, which convinced me to sign up for the wine program, which gets me two bottles of Darius II shipped to my house per year for the whopping price of $550. We spent a little bit more time outside enjoying the view, and then we're off to go find some lunch. lunch we're at God's Roadside Burger. This restaurant serves up burgers with a signature fried egg. This right here is the kimchi burger with a side of onion rings. After lunch we headed up to Jordan Winery to taste some more wine. The tasting started with their Chardonnay along with a tour of their outside property. Next we headed into the facilities. I do want to say that if you have thoughts of coming into Jordan do realize that it is an hour away from central Napa where all the other wineries are. We actually got this opportunity through some connections, so it was a free tasting and we didn't want to turn it down. But I am pretty sure if you're part of their wine program, there are rooms for you to stay in. They do private functions here a lot. This is actually one of their private rooms hidden behind a shelf. And this is where we're going to be tasting the Cabernet. <music> For dinner, we're at Iron Chef Morimoto's restaurant in Napa Valley. We started with the pork belly over soft polenta, a little bit of crispy onions on top. Next, we had the bone marrow with seven spices and teriyaki. Next was the short ribs two ways, a little tomato salad in the middle. Super tender in a fried version, had a little crunch to it, which was quite pleasing. There's more. We also got the salmon with Thai curry mussels and duck confit fried rice with duck egg on top and then finished off with lemon sorbet covered in chocolate. This pick was more for presentation and aesthetics because at the end of the day, it is still lemon sorbet and chocolate. And that was day one in Napa Valley. We're spending another day here, so stay tuned for the next vlog. Hey, can you subscribe to my channel?